Hello guys, I can't see the camera lens, so I have no idea if you guys can actually see this, but today we're going to be uh, doing an update on the Sinister Trans Am and pretty much a how-to video. We picked up some chrome exhaust tips from an uh, auto parts store. Don't know if you see them. Got a very good deal on them. And uh, we're going to be installing them on the Trans Am since we got exhaust now. No more open headers. So, how-to video coming up and update video. Stay tuned. Okay guys, this, uh, if you didn't know, the Trans Am been on open headers for a while. We put a small box Chevy in it with headers, and uh, we had to pretty well uh, make a wire pipe for it, and that's what we've been waiting on. This is the actual exhaust was on the car when it had the LT1. It's a Flowmaster. Well, you can't see the Flowmaster. It's pretty much on top of it. It's a good sounding little muffler. Nice little setup. And, uh... The tips was gone. We used to have oval tips here, but before we decided to fix this car back, it actually was being parted out. So we decided to fix the car back instead of finishing and parting it out. So that's how come the tips is gone. But we got these tips right here. They make two, they actually make like two different style of tips. They got kind that you can actually, the cheaper ones, you can got a screw through them and you can bolt them on. Now these little tips right here is actually a little bit different. They made to be cramped on or welded on. I prefer to weld them on at least two or three wheel tacks. That way if you ever want them back off you can. But they just slide back on your pipe. Like so. Same goes for this side. Take your tip. Put it on the top. Slide it on. Now, this is the fun part. You got to decide how you want your tips. Do you want them out a little bit? Or do you want them tucked in? That's a hard decision. Because I don't know if I want mine out. I prefer mine to actually roll with the body. So give me a few minutes to decide how I want my tips and we go to the next step. We won't be using a cramp to cramp these onto the pipe, but we are going to be using a welder. Now the best place to cramp your welder is to here or a good ground somewhere on the existing pipe. Now if you do ground on the tip, know that you got to strike on the tip first and drag your weld to the pipe. Once it welds, you'll be able to weld pretty good because it completes the ground once it bonds together. And you can tack it a couple more times. <laughs> so, we're going to probably tack it here, here, here in three places. I'm going to put a tack on it right here. And while it's still hot, come back here and make sure my tip is straight and where I want it. Now, when you're installing your tip, you don't want it touching the plastic or be super close to the plastic because it will melt your bumper, and you don't want that. So I go ahead and set my tripod up, and I'm going to go ahead and tack this, and you can watch me do all the amazing car guy stuff. Now guys, you want to get you some gloves or make sure your pipe is cooled down because it will be hot. This one is still cool but it's a longer pipe so it's got a lot of room for heat transfer. Now, you want to make sure your tip is straight and that's the reason you just tack one place in it. If it's not, you can position it a little bit. Now, the main thing is when you weld it, you want to make sure your tip is straight. Up here, because you won't be able to twist it, but you will be able to bend it left to right, straight up, or straight down. And
we got pretty much a hand can fit in not pretty good the sides uh, stand back on it looks pretty square looks pretty even so I'm going to tack it on in place I'm going to let my hammock charge up though battery's kind of weak but it's got enough in it to do what we need to do Once you get this side, once you get this side guys, we can go on and go to this side. Make sure it's done the same way as you did that side. I always remember to wear protective gloves and everything. I'm not doing it, but you know, you should. Now, uh, let us get this side measured up and all that good stuff. Make sure this is straight because you won't be able to twist it. We got pretty much the same gap up here. That's the other one. And make sure it's straight. Now we tack it. Now, just like we did on the other side, you want to adjust your tip. Make sure, we'll give it time to cool down. And if you're in a hurry, wear gloves. But this has got a long heat transfer. It's got a long heat transfer, so it is pretty cool. Make sure you got the same kind. Now, the reason I said you can twist it, see, we're a little bit tighter. You move the tip actually over with that tack on it. So. We still need to come over a little bit more. And now you can compare it with the other side. So we need to come over a little bit more. And that's why you just tack one spot so you can actually adjust everything. That feels pretty good right now. Now you can stand back on the car. That's what I'm doing right now. Check. Tips look gorgeous. Now when you actually put your tip on, you find in the thing, I did this on both sides. I'm one of them kind of even and I'm just doing these by eye and with my hands but if you want to get perfect you can use a measure or a straight edge or however you want to do it but transam sets kind of low so it should be pretty damn close so I'm gonna finish tacking it on now fun 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 for the whole family We have got the exhaust tip pretty well finished on the Trans Am and I hope whatever you install in your exhaust tips or 
whatever kind of hot rod you're building. Or if you enjoyed this video, that you drop a like and drop a comment. Let me know what you're working on. If you're watching this video to install an exhaust tip, please drop a comment. Let me know what you install an exhaust tip on. But uh, pretty well, simple, easy to do. And guys, don't forget when working on your car, always use proper protection. If you jack your car up, make sure it's on ramps and uh, jack stands. Make sure it's very safe before you do any kind of work to your car. This video and check out the other videos on this car if you just now seen it for the first time. It has its own playlist on the channel. You're more welcome to go check out any video you want to of it of the build of this car. It has come a long way and it's still got a long way to go. If you're a fan of a Trans Am and a fan of making it your own, then this car is pretty much the poster child for that. Especially for the hot rod spirit because that's basically what this Trans Am has been made into, a hot rod that you can enjoy every single day and daily drive it. It was kind of a pain daily driving it with open headers, but it was done. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore for the time being. So, thank you for watching, and uh, always be safe when you're doing any kind of work to your vehicles. And until the next video, I see you then because I do upload daily.